Hey guys, this is Mr. V and this is Apes Review Video, topic 5.13, Methods to Reducing Urban Runoff. So this is kind of a short one, but um, the idea is we spoke about impervious surfaces in a previous video, and the idea is because of urbanizations, that uh, urbanization, that area that has become uh, what we call impervious has, improved, has in increased, right? And so the idea is that the water is not getting down to where it's supposed to go. So if you look at this diagram here on the right, you see that you know about 30 percent of the uh, water goes back into the air uh, through transpiration and then you get a lot of runoff which is 55 percent and you do get some shallow what we call infiltration that's the water moving down about 10 uh, percent of that and then only about five percent going deep down into the ground okay to last for several generations later but if you look at the one on the left with natural ground cover you still get about an equal amount of transpiration and then very little runoff, and then um, much more shallow and deeper infiltration. So that's a good thing because then you're going to be able to get water to your soil. You're not going to have as much flooding. Um, and so that's one way you want to do that. Now, of course, if you're living in a city, you can't just break up all the concrete and put trees down. So the solution for that may be to adjust the type of concrete you might have. So one of these ways that we've been looking at uh, how this could be done is by creating permeable uh, ground cover, right? So you pr replace traditional pavement and concrete with more permeable pavement, okay? And of course, you can put more trees in. Um, and of course, when you have more public transportation, what that's gonna do is it's gonna reduce the need for things like parking lots, right? Because if everybody has a car, you're gonna have to have somewhere to put those cars. But if everybody rides a bus or a train or a subway of some sort, then you won't need as much parking space for that. That's a good thing. Um, and of course, the idea is to build up and not out. So preventing urban sprawl could be a benefit to this. And these right here, you've got permeable pavers and concrete and asphalt. That's the kind that will allow for water to get in. Now, of course, these would be more expensive, but it is an option if you do want to reduce that urban runoff. Okay, so here's a couple of uh, websites you can use to kind of gather some background on that. And um, hopefully this was helpful. Thank you very much.